Hi, and welcome back. We have a very special guest sitting beside me. Shane Corson. <laughs> there you go. But he is the guru of technology. computers, technology, something that I'm very inept at. And uh, Terry, you're pretty good at that. I do. I don't know the inner workings of the computer, but well, I know how to work one. Okay. Well, I'm the same way. Uh, but we're going to interview him today because he's a very interesting man when it comes to this kind of stuff. So. I do want to say this, though, because he wants to be able to reach a lot of the seniors also out here. And, you know, uh, not that I'm just a senior, but the technology today was basically for younger people, uh, 20s, 40s, uh, and I still say 40s is younger, uh, that they're all doing this and they're, they just know how to work these computers. And we're just in awe. So what I'd like to say is this. This man will actually come to your home. He will actually come with a list that you have questions about. He already knows the answers. And he's going to take you step by step to be able to help and to provide you with what all your needs are uh, in the situation of turning on a, a computer. <laughs> so I can help you turn your computer on. You can help, <laughs> yes, you can help him turn on that com computer and maybe help him turn it off. Yeah. yeah, help turn it on, everything in between, Facebook, right. you want to yeah. go on Facebook, want to do blogging, want to do all that kind of stuff. I don't know how to take pictures from here learn. to there. Do you help. know how to take those pictures from here to there? And, you know, people take them off the computer and then they put them on Facebook. Oh, yeah. and right. It's like, right. wow, I don't know how to do that except to put them in my pictures or my it's, whatever. And I really don't. It's a process, but, you know, when once you learn that process once, right. uh, you know it forever because, for the most part, applications are constant. They're, they're common between one application to the next. You can do your uploading of pictures the same way in one application as you can in the next application. Okay, but you have to do it rep uh, repeatedly, uh, in repetitively, that's the word I'm looking for. That is true, yeah. Uh, and, and in order to uh, do this, because I've been shown, and then a week later I want to do this right. again, and, and, and you know what, I don't know what right. to do. Right. But you will come in, you will come in, and mm -hmm. I know that you have so much patience, you're a very calm man. Thank you don't you. get all nervous and say, oh, you should have done this. Or, no, mm -hmm. you're very, very calm, and I like that about you. Thank you. So uh, you'll go in there for a, not a very huge fee. I mean, I, yeah. I, you're very reasonable. Mm -hmm. You were telling me some of the prices. I don't know if you want to tell them, but you know, maybe you might want to so you don't scare them. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, if, if, let's put it this way. If anything goes over $90, and we're talking like almost a whole afternoon at that point, then we create a package. I'll create a package price. Okay. Technical <laughs> services, my advertised rate, and don't let this scare you because... I'm the owner of my company, and I can do what you want. Work. I can do what I want. Yeah. yeah. My advertised rate, though, for technical service services is actually far less than my competitors, and it's forty-five an hour. Okay. You know, I think that um, people are scared, especially seniors, are, are fearful of using the computer. Don't you think it's so much easier today than it was like ten years ago, maybe? Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, <laughs> the one the one piece of advice that I have for people who are deathly afraid of computers is one, don't be. Two, get in there and just play around with it. You're not going to hurt something. And if you do hurt something, we can, can always restore it. it right? You know, and I think it's a wonderful tool for seniors because of the social media today, like Facebook. Right. And especially for people that are home alone and, and uh, are a little bit lonely at night, you have so much interaction. You can be on there for people. hours and you don't even realize right. the time right. has Part gone the by. Problem. Yeah, well, yeah. Right. You know what, one of the things that I found too is like if there's something going on in the world somewhere and they mm. give someone's name, you can actually look up that person and have some interaction to find out what's really going on. Right, right not only just the name but all of the background information right, about right. that person where would we be without google oh, oh right I know. exactly Man, youtube <laughs> i love youtube youtube we can spend oh, hours oh. on i mean and by the way we're on youtube <laughs> yes we are that's right we are, we are. <laughs> but you know what instead of going to attend classes where you go for two three hours and that's intimidating right you're afraid to ask an answer right. you know, question but, but on youtube you can play it replay it over and over or skip the parts that you don't want to go through right, right. So, but if he had I classes computer. that that would intimidate me Right. It, because you're afraid to ask those questions that everybody else is really right. thinking. Right. So at least when he comes to the house, 
It's very it's, comfortable. It's comfortable. It's private. Right. It's right. nice. It's well, using your own computer, too. And so if you look at education to. today, a lot of courses are going online. Mm -hmm. I happen to be an online instructor, and it mm -hmm. amazes me the people that come on to take an online class that have no computer knowledge. Mm -hmm. And so they right. spend half of their time being frustrated. So right. that's where you can come in, is, right. is to make them comfortable before they ever sign up for an online class. Yeah. Because yeah. I think that's really the way of the future. I, I, are there discount rates for seniors? There are. Um, I had to ask trying that question. to remember, I think it's 10% 10, 10 for seniors and okay. for nonprofits. Oh, and for nonprofits also. Mm -hmm. and is that 10%, 20%? What is, it, what is that? I believe it's 10%, 10 yeah. I'd have okay. to check my list, right. but I think. Well, I'm a senior and I'm a nonprofit, so do I get 20%? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There you go. Well, and so how One do thing you doesn't start. Never know until you ask, yeah. right? How so do you I'm get we'll seniors. Talk. Let's talk. <laughs> how do you get seniors that are fearful of the computer to lose that fear and to actually want to try to do something? Find something that's interesting to you, specifically to you. Um, mm -hmm. There was an individual that I went to their, their house a couple of months ago, and they've had this computer for a really, really long time. Um, and they've used it for very specific things, for email and for word processing. But they didn't really want to use it outside of that. They weren't comfortable. Right. So but that's I, a start, right? It's a start. It, yeah. is, it actually is. Right. It's, a, it's a very uh, important step just, just to get started. Right. Uh, but I showed them another website. It was actually a website of games and for kids. The games. And this person that I'm, these people that I'm sitting there with are in their 60s. But they're having just a fantastic time. And it's not just a game that they were playing. They were learning um, different keystrokes. They were learning how the applications worked. And, and remember what I said before, right. if you learn one application, you can use that same knowledge and take it to the next application. Right. And, and what key is key that? <laughs> what, what, what key is that, please? Could you tell me what key that is? Any key. That's the any key. You I can't know, find the any key. You know, as a grandparent, I find that it's a wonderful tool to, to know the technology because it helps me to communicate with my grandkids. Mm. I mean, I have a grandson that's five years old, kid's a whiz on the computer. Right. And because I know a little bit about it, you know, I can really relate to him. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, I think all seniors really should learn at least a little bit. Right. Yeah. right. It's fun. It really is. Yeah. It's just, it, just have fun with it. Don't be afraid of it. Well, this is the guy to teach you. And uh, let's give them a phone number. Area code 775-513-1402. That's my cell. 513-1402. You can also come to my website and contact me via email. It is Shane, S-H-A-N-E, at Let's Talk Graphics .com. Let's Talk Graphics, just the way it let's sounds. Let's Talk Graphics. Now, you have a, a little boy. Does he know how to use the computer? Oh, oh yes, he, he does. he better, huh? He <laughs> absolutely does. He's, he's actually getting very good at keyboarding now. It, uh, the first couple of years, cause he started uh, playing games when he was about four. Um, it's been uh, probably about a year now that he's been on a computer, and okay. he's working the keyboard just like, just like he should be. Wow. Yeah, I often wonder how um, people can go fast on the keyboards if they've never taken typing. And of course, I had like three or four years of it oh, in high school. Had, this yeah. is the era that right. we lived in that we had to and take. And now we're thankful. And now we're very thankful yeah. because we can write letters and whatnot. Right. And then you see others going. You know, my dad did that. Yeah. My dad bought a computer for my mom. She never touched it, but he really learned to use it. And I was amazed. Right. He did the one finger thing, but he got pretty fast. Right. Also, keep in mind, uh, as far as the uh, keyboard is concerned, you don't really even need a keyboard anymore. Oh, if you right. have Windows 7 and a, and a headset, a microphone, you can actually talk to your computer. It oh, will come on. Dictate. <laughs> it'll follow so commands. So if you have no one else to talk to, talk oh. to the computer. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And it'll talk <laughs> back to you, too. Me. It does? Oh, sure. It'll read read emails and accessibility. You basically. know, I think of you on a daily basis Aww. because I say I have to have you come over and, uh -huh. and really teach me some things and I'm still going to think about doing that. So, All right. Uh, well, let's set, my, a, set a day and time. Yeah, I would like that. So, right. so uh, for those of you that are very interested in learning, please give them a call. And, uh, and what was your phone number again? 775-513-1402. Yes. Thank you so much. And we're going to return after these few 